Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be trying to name this organic compound. So we have this compound here. How do we name this compound? First things first, this is like an extension of our last class. All right, so the first thing to note is that for every, um, for every junction or for every sharp end, there's a carbon atom there. So you have carbon here, 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 and carbon here. So which of these is the longest continuous carbon chain? Um, if I start from here, I'm having one, two, three, four, or I could go one to here, there, two, three, four, five, six, or I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Obviously, going this route would be the longest continuous carbon chain. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can check if you find a shorter route, route, which probably you would not. All right, so, the, so my highest continuous carbon chain here is seven, which is what? A hep. So we have seven there being hept. Okay, that's rule one when it comes to naming compounds. Longest continuous carbon chain seven is hept. Next up, if I look at this, I can see a double bond. So number two, rule two is to identify the functional group. In this case, we have a double bond. All right, the functional group here is a double bond and the homologous series is an alkene. So if I combine this, what I'm having is something like a heptene. So I have a heptene here, but then keep this pending. This is from rule one and rule two. The alkene is because I have a double bond, as you can see here. All right, this is this two here forms a double bond. So I have a heptene or an alkene. All right, so how do I number this, um, this compound here? Should I number from left? one two three four five six seven or from right to left from right one two three four five six seven now when it comes to numbering this you number from the direction that gives you the the shortest distance to your double bond if i go from left to right i'm having one two three four five six and seven so if i go from left to right observe that the double bond starts here which is at carbon four all right carbon four all right let's invert this let's start from right to left right to left i'll have one two three four five six and seven from right to left observe that the double bond occurs at this point here which is carbon three so between carbon four and carbon three, the list is carbon three. So I'm using three heptene. All right. So I'm using this numbering here from right to left. Why? Because I'll get I'll I'll get to my double bond faster going from right to left three as opposed to four that we did earlier. So having done this, my next task is to identify the substituent. I'm having from here. I'm having a one carbon substituent. A one carbon substituent is a met, or better still, a methyl. I can see another one carbon substituent here that becomes another methyl. Finally, looking at this, I can see from here, this is carbon four. I can see a two carbon substituent. That's these two here. A two carbon organic substituent gives you an ethyl. So it becomes ethyl. All right. So if this is true, let's now name this compound having identified the substituent. I'm starting from ethyl, from alphabetical order, ethyl. Now, ethyl, these two carbon substituents are attached to carbon 4. So it becomes 4-ethyl. So this compound becomes 4-ethyl. Okay. Look at methyl. From my numbering, methyl occurs at carbon 3. So you can see that this methyl here is attached to carbon 3. This methyl is attached to carbon 5. So it becomes 3,5-dimethyl. So I'm having 3,5 hyphen dimethyl. So considering the um considering the, the parent's carbon atom is a hep heptene. So 3,5 dimethyl. Now to get the complete name, if I look at right, so when it comes to alkenes, it's important that you identify the carbon bearing the double bond. From this structure here, I'm seeing carbon 1 here, carbon 2 here, carbon 3 here. 
So you can see that carbon 3 here bears the double bond. That means I will indicate this 3 in the naming of the compound. So how do you do that? This now becomes, now I'm having heptene here, but it becomes hept 3 in. So what I have here now becomes 4 ethyl, 3 5 dimethyl, hept 3 in. Now what hept 3 in means it's, is that carbon 3 bears the double bond, or the double bond starts with carbon 3. That's what it means. Alternatively, you can call this compound, or you can call this compound 4 ethyl 3 5 dimethyl they can say 3 heptene all right so this one also works so if you want to call it this it's also correct so these are like the two alternative names to the compound all right okay so before we go let me give you a compound so you try to name this compound using what you've learned so far okay so try to name this compound using what we've learned so far all right okay let me add one here so you have this and let's say you have this all right so you have this compound here your tax is simple um okay more interesting like this your tax is simple your tax is what's what's the name of this compound here so try to pause this video get the name leave the name as a comment in the comment section all right all right so that's this all right so if you enjoyed this video make sure you like this video all right like this video leave a comment comment the name of this compound the assignment i just gave to you in the comment section also if it's your first time please do well to subscribe to this channel it helps the channel to grow and then finally share this video to your friends so that they can also learn and don't forget to check out our courses on organic chemistry all right i have a full course on organic chemistry on my website you can simply visit my website www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses and you see the course on organic chemistry the course contains all the homologous series from alkanes to alkenes to alkynes alcohols etc it also talks about their nomenclature, their preparations, their reactions, and everything you need to know about them, all right? So you can check out that course from my website, www.junaimanu.com forward slash courses, all right? Thank you and see you in the next class.